So we have Oizerga. There's our origin. We have force. And we have time in milliseconds. So we want to be careful about that. It's in milliseconds. It's the first one we're seeing non-standard units. And that's, of course, why we check every time. So it's time in odd units. So we'll read anything that's about force or time. The gradient delta F over delta T is the rate of change in force. And the area is F delta T, which is J. And we know delta P is M delta V. And of course, the impulse is what brings about the change of momentum. So the four of those are equal to each other. So we have a mass tennis ball. It's going to the left at 10 meters per second. So here's our positive, here's our negative. We have a velocity of V0 of minus 10 meters per second. Hit by his tennis racket swinging to the right. The magnitude of the force on the ball and the racket is shown in the figure. What is the speed of the ball after the collision with the racket? So we know the area is going to tell us the change in momentum. So we'll find the area. Now this time in milliseconds, we might as well convert it here so we don't make a mistake. This is 0 0.008 seconds. So the area of this triangle, we again see we could treat this as two of these triangles, which would give us a rectangle, which has a height of 500 and a width of 0 0.004, which is going to be 2. So that's going to be our change in momentum. And delta change in momentum is P minus P0. And we want to know the speed afterward. And we, we could know that if we know the momentum afterward. And the initial momentum is mv0. So we have, we can factor out a mass. And we've got v minus v0. And the v0 is minus 10. And the change in momentum we know is 2. And the mass is 0 0.05. So dividing both sides by 0 0.05 gives us v, minus plus, v plus 10. And 2 divided by 0 0.05 is 40. So 40 equals V plus 10, and V then is 30 meters per second. Now you can see from the other choices, it would be pretty easy to make a mathematical mistake and arrive at some of the other answers.